All right, everybody. Well, this is the moment everybody's been waiting for when we're going to start doing this. What I'm going to be starting on first is just the primary frame of it. What we're going to be doing is I'm going to start out with this. I'm going to start out with building just the primary frame area where the engine is going to be sitting. First things I need to do, now all the cuts that are going to be on just this section that we're doing right now, uh, the primary frame, the angles, the angle cuts are either going to be at 22 degrees or, or 22.5, whatever, 22 degrees or 45. And I'll be showing you how they are set up, that sort of thing, as I go through this. So, first things come first, I'm going to take a piece of one by one. 0.095 wall thickness square tubing and I'm going to cut it at 29 and 5 eighths inches long. One end is going to be a flat 90 degrees and the other end is going to be a 22.5 degree cut. So let's do this. I'm cutting two of those. Okay now for those of you kids who are just starting or starting out building stuff, since I just stated that I need to cut one at 29 and 5 eighths, so I did. And one end is cut at 22.5 degrees. Okay. See, it's not it's not 90 degree cut. Now when I cut this, I set my saw up, cut, and then I cut it. See? So since this or 22.5 degrees. This is already at 22.5 degrees. This one here is also at 22.5 degrees. So all I have to do is take this piece of steel, turn it over this way measure it from the point because from the point it's from the point back is 22 or is 29 and 5 eighths so from that edge to the very point not here the point is 29 and 5 eighths inches long so now all I got to do is measure from this point over here wherever 29 and 5 eighths inches long and then I'll have the two pieces that I need. File off my edges so I actually get an accurate read of the measurements here. Okay, so I just cut this bar right here, which is right there. I'm gonna cut, I'm cutting two of them, one for each side. Okay. Now I'll be cutting two of these, and these. This little bar right here. This is three inches here and three inches on each side. So no matter what, it's three inches long. Each side will be cut at 22.5 degrees. The reason that you cut each piece at 22.5 degrees is because the total angle is 45. Okay, and there we go. Got them cut. And I also beveled the edges. And I can't even see it. Huh. I can kind of. But anyways, yep. So those two 30 degree or those two 22.5 degree cuts are going to equal 45 degrees right there. Yeah. <laughs> now the next part, oh, those are three inches long. Those are a little tricky to cut because remember the cuts are at the same angle. Okay, now the next one that we're going to be doing 
will be this one. One end is going to be cut at 22.5 degrees and the whole total length will be 11 inches. Okay, 11 inches. Yep, bingo. 11 inches, exactly. Cut at 22.5 degrees and that's on a chop saw that doesn't even lock. I have to hold it by hand and eyeball it while I cut. Jeez. Somebody needs to call Guinness. Get me a beer. Alright, so I'm going to be making a jig uh, for this and I need to cut some better pieces of angle iron to be able to fit on this. You see how this is set up. Since I have a wooden table. I'd like to get steel, put steel over the top of this, but that's just way too damn expensive, so I'm gonna have to or deal with what I got. <laughs> so, cut down a few pieces of angle iron and stuck them in here. They don't need to be centered, it doesn't have to be perfect. There we go. Since I have my two cuts here are 22.5, I have two cuts there, it's going to equal like a 45 degree angle. So, Now it's time to weld. Okay, well my old welder, I started getting mad at that and just decided to say screw it. So I whipped out the new welder, hooked that all up, put up the wire in it, connected everything up and went to test her out. Now normally when you pull the trigger you can lay your bead that way, right? And the on, only the power, power is only operating when you pull the trigger. But with this thing, Loud as hell, too. See, I'm not pulling the trigger. See that? There's still juice going to it. I guess I'd have to be careful with this one. God. Why do I always have to work with half ass shit? Okay, well, there we go. Got two of them built there. And I just need to clean off the welds. And yeah. 
and we'll have the the engine actually that right there is the front and this is the rear so yes oh, looking pretty good so there you go start out with that Mm-hmm. There we go.